This song, I mean, we were holed up in Joel's apartment still. And um, I think Jolie was looking for some inspiration outside of lyric writing and, and music. <laughs> and so he, he bought these big canvases, like a couple of them, and a whole bunch of paint brushes and paint, etc. And so he was painting this picture of a, a shark at the time. It looked awesome, bro. And, um, and then he's, I don't know, he just wrote Mercy Mercy on it. And I was like, man, that'd be a pretty cool song. And so out of nowhere, I just started singing this thing, which is the verse. Yeah. And um, it was funny because I was just like, I was. You get frustrated, like, because you you're just going at stuff and you're coming up with ideas, and every now and then you get stuck. And I we didn't want to like, we just really needed to kind of put our heads down and work. So I was just painting, and I thought it'd be kind of ironic to to paint a shark and then write mercy mercy on it. And and then he just started randomly singing while I was painting uh, mercy mercy and into it. And I'm like. Dude, that's killer. Next thing you know, Mikey's um, loading up a track. Loading up a track, <laughs> and um, and then all of it, like the, all the melodies, kind of just came together. The chorus, just I think I dropped the paintbrush and came over, and we just um, put it all all together. And he sung it, and it was beautiful. It didn't really have too many lyrics other than "Mercy, Mercy." Uh, one of our uh, a friend of ours uh, in New York, he's just an amazing guy, and he was actually the first guy um, to get uh, to find Jesus. You know. Um, in, in our church in New York City. He had gone through this incredible season where God had restored um, so many areas of his life and he you know, restored his relationship with his daughter and he was a young guy and uh, just, just a fighter and a beautiful, beautiful spirit. And he, um, he lost his life. What came out of that, the fruit of it was just incredible. And uh, his, his uh, going home party, which we called it, um, it was just amazing and so many, people uh, that he had affected and who had seen the change in his life, um, you know, came to know Jesus, the mercy of God and the fact that like he loves us um, so incredibly and that he He cares for us. And this is it's a prayer. It's like a, it's a prayer of repentance and it's a prayer of like, like the chorus is, you know, arrest, me, um, arrest my heart from its reckless path, release the chains in me. Um, it says, awake my soul to the hope you hold. Um, your grace is all I need, and and it's just it's just a prayer, and I, I know that was um, Devin's prayer. He was constantly always just like, um, you know, fighting just to 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 make it. I really believe that like you know he he met Jesus for himself, and um, and even though he lost his life, um, like God included. Devon in his perfect plan and what's come out of it is just amazing. So anyway, this song is kind of lyrically it's 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 intense because I just imagine Devon singing it and and I think it's really powerful. Yeah, I remember, I mean, I was like, what do you think this song's about? And I remember you were saying it's like, I mean, the interesting thing as well, being in New York, you're surrounded by so many people in a massive city. Um, and I mean they're all searching for something. And it's, it's a lot of people, I mean, you go to the, the church service there and you see a lot of people who, they're quite new to the journey. And for them, it's just, it's once they do find God, it's so real because of like where they've come from, they've experienced God. And um, um, these lyrics, I think they're for, they're for everyone, but I love when you like put it to that picture of people actually, it's just so real for them. And it's like my, like my reckless heart and uh, my reckless path and like what they've been through, it's just, it's a very easy song for them to sing because it's believable to yeah. them. So, I mean, it's genuine, I think, yeah. is what I like about it. You can be the, the worst of the worst and you find God yeah. and he'll change everything. Yeah. That's what I think this song is. I just, yeah, in your darkest moment, like God doesn't love you any less. Yeah.